Oh, hey, God just did it for me. This summer, I'll need your help. So let's actually discover God's creation. Now that it says in the Bible, God created all things great and small. And he made a big elephant. And everything that swims in the water. And everything that flies in the sky. What we're trying to say is, God made all things. Whether it was birds that fly in the sky, fish that swim in the water, animals that walk on the land, or you and me. He created all things. He created the trees and the plants, everything that we see. And this summer, we are going to go and discover the awesome things that God created. Danger ahead! Garrett, we gotta run faster! One of the ways we communicate with each other is using our voice! Animals have their own special language too. Did you know elephants use vibrations and can talk to other elephants that are 177 miles away? We're in a cricket trip at night and communicate with each other. White-tailed deer use their tail to tell the other deer if it's safe to eat or if danger is near. That is some cool fact. Yeah. God did a great job when he created us, giving us special tools to keep us safe and talk to each other. Hey, guys. Are you ready to do some more review questions? Cool. I am, too. All right, what is an animal that migrates in Africa? You're right, Kingston, a zebra. A salmon always goes where? You're right, Dakari, home. We should clap our hands and do what? You're right, Isaiah, praise the Lord. Guys, you wanna make a microphone with me? I'm gonna need a piece of paper and some tape. Have mom and dad help you cut it and make it round at the bottom. Now roll it up. And then take your tape and then tape it or take it and tape it around the edge. Now get markers or a crown and decorate it. Now you have a megaphone! Hey kids! Did you know that all of God's creation speaks? Humans use their voice, sign language, words. Animals use sounds and vibrations and signals and movements and so many other ways they communicate. Plants and trees communicate with their roots. God created them this way so they could have a friendship and to keep them and their family safe. Did you know that God talks to us? He uses his word, our pastor, teachers, parents, and creation speaks to us. If we will listen, we can hear his voice speaking to our hearts, just like the white-tailed deer warns with its tail that danger is near. His word teaches us how to make good choices and stay away from things that are bad. We communicate with God through a prayer. That's talking to him like you would your mom, your dad, or your best friend. Just how it's important for the elephants to speak to each other, it's important for us to daily read his word and communicate with him through prayer. Hey kids, will you pray with me? God, thank you for what we learned today. How the animals talk to each other, that we can talk to you every day. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I want you to jump up and say it with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms 118.24 
guys, your assignment this week is take the megaphone that you made with Lynn and use it to communicate with your friends, with your brothers and your sisters, maybe with mom or dad, and to worship our great God. Hey guys, should we give them a clue vote next week? Oh yeah, they don't want to miss. All right, I guess we can tell them. Stop copying me! 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 Wait, 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 wait! I think they got it. Next week we're gonna learn about things that aren't that don't look as they appear.